Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Pilot Kakuno. This is a bit more of an entry level pen from Pilot, mostly aimed at children. That's not necessarily saying that, you know, adults can't use it, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it from that perspective. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I'm kind of neutral towards, what I dislike, and we'll do a writing sample and conclusion. But before all of that, let's go ahead and get into a size comparison. Alright, so here is the Pilot Kakuno against the Pilot Metropolitan, the Lamy Safari, and the Genhao X450. You can see it's closest in size to the X450 and the um, Metropolitan. The Safari is a little bit longer, not a ton though. Um, it does share, share a bit of a similar shape with the Safari though. But it's, it's, not, it's a little bit smaller than these pens, but it's not a huge size difference. Alright, and here is an uncapped size comparison. You can see when uncapped, it's actually a little bit longer than the Metropolitan, just a bit. Very close in size to the Safari, and a little bit longer than the Genhao X450. So uncapped, it's a really, really good size. On to what I like about it. So first thing up, the nib and flow. For the width of the nib, which is a Japanese fine, which is very, very fine, um, it writes very smooth and fairly wet. It, it's not the smoothest thing on earth, and it's not you know going to be with it being as fine as it is. But it writes very, very well. It's, it's not that bad for me to write with, and I don't completely hate it, which is really saying something because I generally prefer Western mediums or broads. The design is very, very unique, um, including the nib, that little winky face. They have different designs for the nib, but they're all kind of faces, which is interesting. Um, there's even a little smiley face made out of the U and Kakuno. And the design in general is very, very child-friendly. They have a bunch of different colors that you know you can pick from. We have little grooves up here to assist with opening. Um, the, the section is see-through. That adds a bit of visual interest to it. It's just a very, very interesting design. Uh, the hexagonal body you know, helps with preventing rolling off the desk, as does the little roll stop included. So it's it's not going to roll anywhere. Um, you can kind of get it to roll a little bit, but it's, it's fairly difficult. So all of that, they're, they're being very conscious of the fact that children are going to be using this pen. And speaking of that, there's actually holes in the cap and the back of the body. And thank you to the commenters who let me know this. But apparently that is so if a child swallows it, they can still get air through those holes and doesn't choke them. So that's that's great. Pilot was really, really thinking when they designed this pen. And you can really, really tell. It's not my style, but I completely appreciate it. It's a fantastic design. The build quality is pretty good. Um... It's not super great, but the plastic doesn't feel super cheap. The plastic feels nice. Um, there's not really any seams or anything like that, which surprised me, honestly. It's it's just a very, very well-made pen. And Pilot does that a lot, but the pen is, is nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a children's pen. It feels like a fountain pen, and it's it's nice. It Now, I'm not saying it feels amazing, but it feels like a you know, $15, $20 pen. Maybe a little bit better. It's 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 pleasant. Decent build quality. A decent weight. It's not super heavy. Not super light. And it, it's just... It's nice. I feel like you're getting your money's worth with, uh, with the uh, build quality on this one. Back to the section real quick. It's actually slightly triangular, which I can show you perfectly here. You can see the inner grooves here, here, and on the bottom. And that is to assist with forming a riding grip. Now, I know some of you out there hate that, but that is very important for children to learn how to properly hold a pen. Some people I know hold pens incredibly incorrectly. So it's very important that they can form, you know, a somewhat basic grip. They can go from there, but you don't want people holding pens at some weird like this and writing with it. That's that's too much strain on your hand. It forms a nice corrective grip for them. And if this is a first fountain pen, it's that's a fantastic, fantastic touch. On to the neutral. So first up, and really the only thing, um, it does post, but I really wish it posted deeper. It only posts to about here. I, I wish they would have made it, you know, to about there. So when it's posted, this pen becomes extremely large, much too large for a child to use, um, unless they just really, really like super back heavy pens. But it, it does post, it's there, but it's it's not great. On to what I dislike about the pen. The only thing really here is the price. Comes in at about $10, between 10 and 12 generally where I've seen it at. 
And that's not a bad price for this pin, but it's a bad price for this pin when you compare it to others. So you can get, especially from places like eBay or something like that, you can get some really, really nice Chinese pins for $15. Um, you can get a Moonman M2, which completely destroys this pin. Um, but I will say, as far as child-friendly pins go, this is probably one of the best. But as a general value proposition, it's not that good. Um, if it were 5 to $7, I would think it would do much, much better, in my opinion. And the other thing is, this does not include a converter. Now, the good news is, this can fit CON20, CON40, CON50, and CON70 converters, but it comes with none of them. Now, a children's pen with a converter, I could see that being an issue. I would probably stick to cartridges if I were giving this to a child. But the fact that if you want a converter, you have to pay extra on top of this is a little frustrating. Let's be honest. If you're giving this pen to your kid, they're probably going to end up losing it or breaking it or something like that. Not to say it's, you know, flimsy. It's fairly durable. But it's a kid. They, they're going to break stuff. They're going to lose stuff. It's going to happen. So you having to pay $10 for this pen and then $5 for a converter, you're in 15 bucks when you could get like three Gen Hows for that price, which are more durable. They're Granted, they're heavier. They're not super great for kids, but the price needs to come down a bit, and they probably need to toss in at least a Con 20 converter um, with this pen to make it anywhere close to being a value proposition, in my opinion. All right, and on to the writing sample. So... This is the Pilot Kakuno. With a fine nib. And again, the, the flow is pretty good for a, for a fine nib. It's not super great, but it's not too bad. By the way, this ink is Diamond Soft Mint, which I thought would be a better match for this pen than it is. It's okay though. I'm going to go ahead and do a reverse writing line, normal writing line, and line with some pressure. So you don't really get so much line variation out of this as you do increased ink flow. You get a bit of line variation, but it's really just that a bit more ink pooling up out of there. The pen writes pretty well, as I mentioned. Um, obviously, there are no skips. There was no hard starting or anything like that, and I haven't used this pen in probably three or four days. So it, it's it's actually a pretty consistent writer, and as usual, Pilot really, really delivers when it comes to the nibs and the actual writing performance of their pens. On to the conclusion. So, in conclusion, this pen is amazing. If a child is going to be using it, if it's going to be used by an adult um there are much much better options and i would look into those because this is not that great there's nothing this com that compelling about this when at the moment you can get like a metropolitan for around the same price that comes with a converter um, a little bit more durable more nib options it's just maybe not more nib options in my opinion better nib options so it's it's just it's a hard sell unless you're going to buy it for a kid. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to check out all of my other stuff. If you have any questions about this pen or any other pens that I reviewed or anything you want me to review or anything like that, leave it down in the comments. Keep an eye out over the next two weeks or so for the top five fountain pens of the year. Um, if you're wanting me to do any variations of those, like top five beginner fountain pens or top five under 20 or something like that, let me know. Um, but that will be coming up probably uh, two or three days before the end of the year. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye.